23-year-old Femi Nandap, who had a history of mental health problems and was known to police. Nandap has pleaded guilty to manslaughter on the grounds of diminished responsibility. But Dr Ensink's baby daughter will never know her father and may one day ask who was responsible for his death. Developed and thrived from the pot industry and the local Bobby was part of that community. I put that uniform on and twirled round in my mirror. I felt proud of myself and I also thought it's a job that I'll always feel proud to tell people that I do. But over the last ten years, things have changed so much. We're not in that world these days. There's not enough of us to cope with the demand. Has there ever been a better time to be a criminal? I think people have lost faith in the police. I do. You just give up. Why should we put forward to crime? Nothing happens. Everybody knew about Stoke-on-Trent, whereas nowadays we're like a, a little forgotten city. We get the first call from people who are really, really suffering and people who are really, really struggling. People are more angry. Have a good day. People are now at breaking point. Here, yeah, yeah. it's like a new go zone. Oh, my God. No, <laughs> you don't deserve to die. You have got a choice. If I've got half the police officers that I had ten years ago to police the same area, something's got to give. <gasps> Come to Staffordshire. Come meet your local friendly police officers of young black teenage boys yeah. who are members almost exclusively of gangs attacking each other so yeah. that the perpetrators and the victims appear to be almost exclusively young black men. The knife crime element of murder in London is predominantly young black teenage boys. Yeah.